Okay, so we've seen in a couple of examples now um, where we've been using binary expansion using Pascal's triangle. I'm going to show you another example. 5 take away a quarter x to the power of 4. I'm going to show you how you can do this relatively easily and quickly. So, I'm going to quickly draw out Pascal's triangle. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And this is the row that I want because I am expanding something with a power of 4 in it. So, I have 5 to the power of 4 plus 4 times 5 to the power of 3 times minus a quarter x, putting it in a bracket to make sure I don't lose the negative sign, plus 6 times 5 to the 2, because it's reducing in power each time, times minus a quarter x squared, plus, I'll write it here, 4 times 5 to the power of 1 now, times minus a quarter x cubed, plus the final term is 1 lot of 5 to the 0 times minus a quarter x to the power of 4. Okay, so you can see that the minus a quarter x increases in power each term. The 5 decreases in power each term. And you've got the coefficients of the fourth row of the, binom of the Pascal's triangle. So 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. They're inside the expansion. Okay, so I've got 5 to the power of 4 is where the calculator comes out. 5 to the power of 4 is 625, and then we've got 4 times 5 cubed times minus a quarter, okay, so I've done that completely wrong, times minus a quarter, making sure it's in a bracket, okay, so minus 125x, so that's the first two terms, then we've got this one, 6 times 5 squared, times minus a quarter squared, which is 75 over 8 x squared. Then we've got the fourth term, 4 times 5 times minus a quarter to the power of 3, which is minus 5 sixteenths x cubed. And then you finally got minus a quarter to the power of 4, which is 1 over 256, and you've got that x to the 4 in the end. And that is my expansion. Notice how if you have a minus sign here, then the, it alternates plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. Okay? So make sure that you always put this in a bracket so that you don't forget minus signs and you don't lose them and you don't forget to square or cube or take minus a quarter to the power of 4 in the last term. Okay? So use brackets to your advantage here and it will make sure that you make as little, as few mistakes as possible.